reunions. Now we can see them together. Yeah, it's definitely. It's gonna be very. Never exciting. expected these two to fight. Oh yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. I was, ask anybody about it like, like two years ago. Kazu versus Everoth. It would be like kind of <laughs> death battle nonsense. Is this? But as we get into game one on PS2 here, uh, Ronnie's starting off by getting a couple of snaps in. Yeah, and I was going to mention a lot of Ronnie's playstyle is definitely getting those um, neutral. Uh oh. Bees. We got some electrics Ooh, already what? from Tomato getting a quick 64%. Got uh, a, I guess a loop and a half. Yeah, and I. It's kind of hard to say. Um, oh, you Ronnie, went for the 10 hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, these cutscenes. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and Ronnie does have the advantage of having a sword in this matchup, so he can keep Tomato awake, you know, just prevent him from getting any of those hits in. Uh, but obviously, you have to oh. play really, really well, have your spacing on point, your timing on point, or else Ronnie's going to get punished. Yeah, but just like how you mentioned earlier, that sword difference really was able to go ahead and help him net that stock where he just kind of dropped off the stage fast fill and forwarded uh, and was able to kill Tomato. Uh, not, I don't say too early, but you know, in a matchup between these two guys that are super, super strong, it's really all about who's able to get that first stock. and. Uh, Oh, Ooh, man, that oh my goodness. <laughs> and there's, okay, there's Tomato. Excuse me for not having uh, the full technical knowledge on a lot of Kazuya's moves. I've heard he has a lot of moves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to see a lot of uh, tech coming out of Tomato. We do see he's got some uh, lightning loops of his own down. Okay. Getting a couple up airs, netting 43% on Ronnie. Ronnie doing exactly as you mentioned, utilizing that sword to get those pokes yeah, in. Yeah, and now he's looking for the edge guard. He's going to come back to stage, keep a little safe. Uh, in sort of give up stage control right there a little bit. Now he got tomato back off stage, but it's just like a fight. Yeah, these guys are going back and forth. And mm -hmm. oh man, he went for that uppercut. The, the I forgot the name of it. It's so when you do the shore you input and you hold A or like release at the same time. It is so strong, and he's oh, able to get that. Oh my goodness! The, the double drive. <laughs> um, I have no knowledge of <laughs> Kazuya, so I will not <laughs> comment. But yes, man, he he's definitely going in right now. Oh my God, wait. I thought he was going to go for like the neutral air spike to kind of drop him down. I'm not sure if Ronnie had earned his double jump at that point, but uh, fantastic play from Tomato and great job for Ronnie getting that four to yep. able to go ahead and even up the game right now. Yeah, and it's very much easy percent for Ronnie to make back oh. if he keeps his distance, but he's going for a lot of neutral airs right now. Uh, really in Tomato's space. It's paying off a little bit, but it can it's get very risky. scary. Yeah, yeah, because he's a character that will thrive on. If you mess up once in neutral up close, he's going to get everything. Like, yeah, he combo you to death even. So you really have to be careful. Ronnie is taking all the risks. He he knows he has to because they're both at last stock right now. Oh, gets it up. Now here's the here's the rage. Let's see if he can go ahead and get that uh, drive oh. with the command grab. Oh, and there it is. 75% is no going to do way. it. Oh my oh. god, he died! Uh, I don't know what he pressed, but he killed him because I think he was able to survive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't get hit! That's Tomato giving the thumbs up <laughs> to the screen after like getting that kill at 75. But honestly, there's, there's situations where you can avoid everything. And what you were prefacing pretty much the whole time was Ronnie was in his space. He landed mm -hmm. with an errant back air, and that was yeah. able to go ahead and give him that command grab opportunity. And really, a move with that rage art, you know, just that much damage on the opponent anyway. Not much you could do about that except eat it. We're gonna have a situation where Ronnie just runs it back, and this is what we were talking about earlier before the game started about you know counterpicking appropriately. Yeah. Granted, it was a close game. It was, but I definitely feel like there's a little bit more that Ronnie can utilize as Sephiroth. Uh, once again, keeping his distance, especially when you start getting to those mid to higher percentages. Uh, we saw how easily Tomato can take the stock. You know, he was killing him at like 80, 90 percent. So Ronnie really has to be careful. I love these landing up airs from Ronnie, reminiscent of playing like Cloud. <laughs> it mm -hmm. just looks really cool. One thing I'd love to yeah. see Ronnie start doing is I'd love to start seeing him use Sephiroth's counter or reflector, as you will. Um, granted, it's a little bit dangerous if you do it into Sep uh, Kazuya's counter because his reflects a projectile, and technically Sephiroth's counter is a projectile as well. Yeah. So um, I still think that a lot of these approaches and whatnot from Ronnie uh, are, I think, a little bit too aggressive. He could use the counter a little more effectively, but uh, there's Pretty blows right now, back and forth, and there's oh, that rage yeah. It does go and through shield, and it's a command grab. So yeah. you know, when you see that, you gotta be careful. Get out because oh, here we go. Does okay. not get the down throw confirm into the, the lightning. I'm not sure if his percent was too high. Yeah, it, it might from the rage. Yeah, from the rage. Yes, it, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I think his rage is a little too high. Uh oh. Possibly. Oh, ooh, get the, oh my goodness. Oh, tries to go for the raw back here. Doesn't connect. I think Ronnie kind of got it straight up. I'm not sure if that may have had impact on it. Oh my gosh, it hit behind. Oh man, that uppercut so powerful! Wow. You got to really just be careful, and with that little bit of invincibility on the top and the start of it, 
I don't think Ronnie really did anything wrong, but he just, I mean, he just got hit. Yeah. That's, Sephiroth is a big body as well. We got to remember is, this yes, character is not. Tall. Yeah, I mean, a lot of characters that are smaller would have been able to probably avoid it uh, because he was, per I think he was behind, okay. but Ronnie gets that back here. Very nice. Yes, he, I, I do want to see that more from Ronnie, sort of sitting on ledge, holding ledge and edge guarding Tomato because I don't think that Kazuya has a super great recovery. You know, if you smack him around once or twice, he's probably going to die. So you, like Ronnie wants to take advantage. Again, he's a sword character. There's so much that he can do with his sword oh to, you know, phase Tomato out. It's, it's, it's tricky because it feels like he's playing a little more defensive now. And mm -hmm. it's like, you should have been playing defensive when you had the lead. Oh my gosh, he was yeah. able to make it back. That wing though, helping him with that extra jump. He's yeah. got to be careful because uh, Tomato's got the drive again. Oh, that's And it's crazy. like you might have armor with Sephiroth, but I mean, that command grab is going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. I think Very unfortunate. I feel like there was a little bit of a match of inexperience there on yeah. Ronnie's part. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine, buddy. And uh, I mean, Tomato going around saying he's a cheater. He, good spirits. I think he understands Kazuya's strengths, but mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like to attribute a little bit of it to match of inexperience. I don't know how familiar Ronnie is with playing like an efficient Kazuya player. Yeah, there's, um, I'm pretty sure Kazuya is one of those characters. Again, it just came out. Very new. I'm sure even if he played Kazuya's, a lot of people don't really understand how to use the character unless they really lab him out. So uh, it's probably just a matter of that. And then I I really want to say that he wasn't taking full advantage of what he could have done. Just the basics, using using his sword to space out Kazuya. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to actually hop off right now. i got to go ahead and play JoJo, so Ooh, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, right now. 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 Right that makes, I mean, it makes sense, sort of keeping along with the... Yeah, anyone who is like a Shoto main from the start, yeah. Bros and X2, I there think the same like thing the with Riddles. Game characters. So it makes sense, it makes sense. But yeah, he's, he's really going in with that Kazuya. And now he's showing up. I mean, it's kind of hype, too, to see Sephiroth versus Kazuya. He, or, you know, Z uh, mentioned that? He was Kazuya. like... Kazuya. I'm not called Kazuya. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But Z, was, Z said the same thing. He was like, oh, two years ago, do you ever think Sephiroth and Kazuya would have been fighting together? Blah, in a blah, blah. Smash <laughs> game, right? They, these yeah. aren't even Nintendo characters. It's so yeah. cool to see. And uh, Ronnie's actually not ranked, I believe. I, I actually no. don't know what rank Tomato is in his region. I, I don't have a lot of knowledge on Tomato. But one thing I can tell you is that was looking very doable for Ronnie. Like, Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that he could have improved on and adapted. But, you know, it, what's done is done. And, you know, he's going to have to continue his run of losers now. But <laughs> coming up on stream now, we do have Z and JoJo, I believe. Yeah. So it should be like a maybe Pikachu's. He has a lot of characters that he can pick from that he, you know, he might be feeling to play. Uh, and then Judge, I believe, is a Peach main. Yeah, he uses a. He started out as like a Wii Fit, then he switched over to Lucas. Now he's primarily using Peach, and he's actually getting a lot of success too because he's been taking out PR names like a. He's uh, beaten Grandmaster before. Mm -hmm. uh, I know he does really, he used to go even with Dagpo for a while too. So I know that he's not like anyone to sleep on at all. Z doesn't really come out much, but he's kind of like a household name. Like yeah. if you're in Vegas, you know of Z. Uh, he was a brawl veteran. Uh, 